How's it going, everybody? Josh, KI6NAZ, looking at the Rig Expert Antenna Analyzer Stick. I picked this up today from the Ham Radio Outlet, and it is a surprisingly versatile uh, piece of equipment. I was not expecting the functionality that is packed in this device. To give you a comparison, here is an Anytone 878 right next to it. Nice size in the hand. It's got an e-ink display, runs off of an 18650 battery, which means it's going to last for a really long time on a charge. And it charges with its supplied USB-C cable right here in the back, like so. And guys, if you like content like this, give me a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to put it in front of other people, potentially people that aren't in amateur radio yet to help grow those numbers, okay? Thanks, appreciate it. So initially, upon turning this on, I wasn't sure what to think of it, you know? It uh, turns on, you have four different options. Two are a sheet, and two is a chart. The sheet is like a number printout. So I went into sheet, and I'm like, okay, well, now what? If I hit play, it doesn't do anything. I had to remember I had to hold it down, and that let me set the frequency. And from there, I could go in and I could change the frequency I wanted and hit play again. So that gives you a, a display of your SWR, and you can scroll through here. You can get things like your impedance right here, 45.6 ohms at 14.90, and I have a very low SWR. So great. Okay, so that gives you single readout type information, which is, which is fine. And then if you hit back, you should be able to go back to the menu. So then if you hit multi, this is a pretty cool feature. It will scan um, all the bands that you have access to, and it'll give you a printout of what the best bands are. And it says 20 meters is my best band at 1.04 uh, SWR at 14.98. Okay, pretty cool. Next would be 11 meters. Ooh, hey, not bad. Uh, 10 meters, also not bad. Six meters, that's kind of bad. Two meters, huh, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> maybe not. Anyway, if you uh, go down to the ham chart, this will tell you, okay, looking at 2.2 km, my SWR is too high. Let's go to 630 megahertz, too high. 160, I know it's going to be too high, so is 80, so is 60, so is 40, let's go to 20. So it gives you an actual printout on the screen. Okay, that's pretty handy. Now can I, I can go in here and I can actually adjust where we're looking at on the sweep and then we can wait for it to reprint. Now this is e-ink, so you have to give it some time because the e-ink display is, it gets printed and then it stays that way until it gets energized again or whatever they call it for changing e-ink. But you can scroll all the way down and I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. That's the feature that was on the 170 that I liked and used the most. Okay, so far so good, but it gets better. So let's go back to free, and free is just allows you to set wherever you want. So it's 13.187 megahertz, right? And you can move up and down the band quickly if you wanted to. We'll go up to 28. Oop, too far. So, and about the 10 meter band right there, there's that. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, this is this is not bad at all. You could throw that on a lanyard, throw it in your pocket. Runs for about two weeks on a charge from its 18650 battery. Great. But then I saw that logo right there. That's a Bluetooth logo. So via their app, Antscope on Android, you click this Bluetooth or it'll pop up and it just finds it. I don't have to connect it or anything. I don't have to do a Bluetooth handshake. And boom, we're right into the device. And so we press start, and there you go. It starts running your trace. And if you want to, we can get it to rotate it into portrait mode. And that gives you a quick shot at your antennas right off the bat. And you can go in here and say, okay, well, where is this? Right there, it gives you that low about 2 to 1 on 1389. And then if you scroll over here, come on, buddy. So about what it said, a uh, 13... 894, which give or take, you know, 14, 14, 100. I'm sure we can go in there and make it a little bit more accurate. Let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. So let's see if we can dial in a little bit on 
20 meters. Go OK, back. So pretty quickly, you can dial into exactly where you want to be. There's 14. There's again uh, 14.141 at 1. Point, what was it? Come on at 1.19 SWR. Not bad for 20 meters. A little on the low side, you're gonna be better off with a Morse code and CW on that. Oh cool, it'll do for Smith chart too. So let's say I really like that uh, shot right there. I can go in here and I can take a screenshot and boom. I can send that off to whomever and say, hey, here's my Here's my low SWR. I will note though, it looks like we've got some differing information and, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing if I had to take a guess that the low here that low at 141 versus 190 uh, 1.7 to 119 is the resolution that these are displaying at the points of data it's taking versus the points of data this is taking. I bet if we went over here and we change this to more points and let me go back to well, let's uh let's do 14 190 so we're printing out a new swr chart with much more finer points and a much smaller range and we set the center point right there, which there's my low point, 171, so 14.171 is 1.09, and looks like we can we can get even more fine-tuny, let's say 1 1.6, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.5 is probably the lowest, that's out of the band though, but if we scroll up, we can get pretty close to where the lowest point is, and it'll show you that on the screen there. So I've got the rig expert stick connected to my computer via USB-C cable, and it's, this is giving you the full band space that it can uh, it can do measurements on. So let's click Run Single with it connected. There we go, and you'll get a printout. Now I have this set for a lot of test points right now, and and the more test points that you set up here, the more detail you're going to get because it's going to take measurements all along the path but it's going to go a lot slower and we're looking at an HF antenna right so everything under here is is 2 SWR so I find it interesting we've got some 2 meter um, working pretty well on <laughs> 2 meters my hex beam anyway so this is way too big to be useful so what you can do is you can go in here and say okay I want to lower this to like 14100 and I want the range to be 3000 kilohertz and then you can do single again and boom, you'll get a different readout. So the blue readout, I'm sorry, the green readout was what we just ran. And that test point, those test points were spread over a much wider range versus now we've got this really narrow range. We can get a lot more detail. So I'm going to delete the previous one with the delete button. Here we go. And now we can get all the way down up in the meat here. 14.115 has an SWR of 1.08. All right, and you can see this gray area is the start of the band. So that's uh, that's 20 meters. So if I flip this over to my 40 meter antenna really quickly, let's drop this down to 7190. I actually don't know what's gonna what's gonna display here, and we're gonna make this an even 1,000. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right. Whoa. What was that? Yeah, okay. So down here at the low point of, of 40 meters, we get an SWR, if I could get it right there in the center, we get an SWR of 1.1 at 7.025. So you can pretty easily model any of your antennas using this software, just connected to your computer via the USB-C, which makes it really, really easy to use. Um, and if you wanted to, then you can just click the full range again. And let's change the test point to 100 to speed it up again and hit single. See how fast it goes when it's just one, uh, 100 test points instead of 400? Yeah. So if we really wanted to get crazy, let's, let's go back to 14100. Let's make this uh, 700 kilohertz and we'll 1,000 test points. So we'll just clear this out and we'll run a, a single run. 
So here we go. Here's my 20 meter uh, hex beam antenna. And there we go. We start to see a dip. So this antenna would be just about perfect if I could just shimmy it up a little bit. That would be great. Get this uh, dip down here on the CW space and this dip in single sideband. So, yeah, again, it's given us the 14.140 uh, at an SWR of 1.07. And you can see the whole band is under 3 to 1 SWR, which is which is fine for most use cases, but it would be nice to, to slide this whole thing, this portion here, up to about here, and then we would get the whole band, which would be awesome. So, yeah, really quickly, easily model your antennas with the Antscope 2, which is free software, and Antscope alone on Android, also free for your Android devices and connects to the Rig Expert Stick. Pretty cool. At the time of recording this video, the Rig Expert Stick goes for about $299 on the Ham Radio Outlet website. Again, here's the size comparison. It's a nice sized unit. It runs off of those 18, one 18650 battery and the advertised rate that a charge will last is about two weeks. And with that e-ink display and kind of how this works, you're not gonna be pulling numbers constantly. I, I believe that number is probably pretty accurate. It seems like both the screen is functional. I was concerned that this like posted stamp size screen would be too hard to read off of, but the e-ink display is really vibrant and looks really good, and it'll look good in the sun as well uh, if you are out, outside, which I think this was designed for that purpose. It's designed to be used for like field day or something like that. So all in all, it's a pretty useful tool. And then when you couple the Bluetooth capability to be able to connect to your phone, an Android phone only, remember, um, that gives you a lot more functionality as well. So, hmm. Yeah, I, I'll leave that up to you to decide if this is something that you'd be interested in. I, I think this is cool. I am uh, going to go and upgrade my 170 at some point to get some more bands out of it. Uh, but this is definitely on my list due to the added capability of the phone when I'm out in the field. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below of the Rig Expert stick. And as always, if you have not already, please subscribe. I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. It helps out the YouTube algorithm to get videos like this in front of potentially new hams and grow our hobby further. We have a great community on Facebook and Discord. The links are in the description for both. And I stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.